What is up, everybody? Matt and Ben here. How What's are you today, guys? Ben? I'm good, dude. How are you? I'm so good. I am ready to jump into a Devo. So we are in the book of Proverbs. So you can go find your Bible, turn on your phone, open it here up. And we're in Proverbs chapter three. Ben, you wanna read a couple of the scriptures? Yeah, in absolutely. Proverbs three? You know, the great thing about Proverbs is you can open this thing right up to the middle and you're usually in there. Sometimes you hit Isaiah. I think that just means you go I back I usually hit bit. Psalms. Oh, Psalm. well, yeah, sometimes I'll hit Psalms. I usually hit Proverbs myself, okay. but. So we're gonna be reading in Proverbs chapter three, verse five through eight. And this says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you, have, then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. So um, since this is my first time doing uh, one of your guys' Youth Devo for Proverbs, I wanted to say something about just the whole book in general. Um, I think a lot of people read the entire Bible as if it's Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs kind of goes every couple of verses is like a different wise saying. It's like the fortune cookie book. Yeah. That's what you said earlier. It's a fortune cookie. Yeah. A lot of people read the whole Bible kind of like it's it's like that. Like they'll reference one verse from, uh, you know, Exodus or something. And they won't understand all of the context of that. That that's actually like one sentence out of a whole story that's going on. Or uh, the New Testament letters taking one verse out of that and not realizing that's a whole letter that's being written to a people group. So Proverbs is actually really convenient because you can actually do that with it. You can actually yeah. reference like one verse and you're not taking it out of context, so. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks for reading the scripture. We follow that SOAP method. So then we go to the observation. Right. So like we are detectives and we're looking, what do we observe? And it's a little bit interesting with the book of Proverbs because like you said, you can just take one verse. Mm -hmm. There's not as much to observe as, as if you were in the New Testament, right. like the gospels or in the Old Testament storyline. Yeah. And so things that I like to observe in the book of Proverbs is just words. Yep. And then I like to kind of research that word because For words sure. have different meaning in the Bible than they do kind of in our culture. Yeah, a whole different language. Yeah, and so, so in the English Bible, the word that I, I pick out out of what you read was trust. Mm -hmm. And I gotta go back and be like, okay, what does trust in the Lord actually mean? Sure. And it's saying trust in the Lord with all of your heart. So when I'm trying to look and discover the text, the all of is really important to me because it's not saying trust in the Lord just a little bit of your heart, not trust in the Lord just with a few things, but yeah. trust in the Lord with all of your heart. So how I observe this text is to look at those key words and really try and understand what the author here Solomon is saying. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's the words uh, trust, there's also the word fear here, is fear the Lord, um, really talking about more respect the Lord for them, right? Um, I think an application we can get out of this, uh, our next step in the SOAP method, S-O-A-P, um, is uh, that trusting God is just so important. And um, what does trust really look like? I think that that's when you do the right thing, even when the right thing to do is the scarier thing to do or the harder thing to do. I know that I tend to look at look at each decision that comes through my life and think through like what is which is the easiest one, which is going to keep me out of the most trouble, um, and that's not at all <laughs> what yeah. God commands us to do. Sometimes, sometimes He asks you to do things that are going to get you uh, in huge messes. Like like maybe it's you need to end a relationship because Ooh. you guys are sinning in it, yeah. and that's going to be awful and am trust I right? that God is gonna bring somebody better that you don't have to yeah, sin with. Absolutely. Um maybe it could be that uh you have to you like you you're being peer pressured into helping someone cheat on a test and they're like one of your good friends. You know, maybe you're gonna have to not do that and then that friendship is now in jeopardy. So yeah. you know sometimes sometimes doing the right thing and I feel I feel like most of the time doing the right thing is the harder thing to do but uh, in the end, it's gonna work out better and it's gonna just do more for the world. Uh, and that's kind of our whole purpose here as Christians. Yeah, it helps us to grow closer to God. Yeah. Sin separates us. For sure. That's such a good point. So then what we like to do is just pray through this passage and pray through God's word. Mm -hmm. And so let's just do that. Dear God, we just thank you so much uh, for your word. We thank you that we can just grow 
God, we just pray that we can trust in you, God. Help us to learn what that looks like in our life and how we can trust in you more than anything else in this world, God. Help us to fear you, not out of an unhealthy fear, but a healthy fear and respect towards you, God. Help us to constantly grow closer to you and continue to spend time with you through your word. In your name, amen. Amen. All right, we will see you next time. Don't forget to press subscribe and share this video with a friend. Peace. Peace.